In this video, I would like to demonstrate speed pack. Now, the basis behind speed pack is to uh, pretty much get some layout assemblies with some better performance. This assembly, fully resolved, I have about 900 components here. And as I scroll my mouse around the screen, it does try to highlight every edge and face I go over. And we're getting to the, just probably to the point where things just start to slow down while the graphics card and the memory try to keep up. Well, What I'm doing here is it's a plant layout and I want to put my conveyor assembly into this plant layout to show the customer what it'll look like, where the placement will be. And you know, I'm just going through some normal routine here of uh, mating up my conveyor assembly and using some select other and trying to get around a lot of the geometry to place my part. If I want the bottom face of that, you know, I have to use some select other tools to get around it and you know nothing out of the ordinary here. But as I mentioned, uh, there's a lot of geometry in here and uh, leaving rotation and, and zooming gets starting to get a little bit slow here. But there I have my picture if I wanted to take a picture and send it to my customer. Now to demonstrate speed pack, I've opened up the plant layout assembly on its own. I'm going to jump over to the configuration manager, simply right click the configuration and say add speed pack. Speed pack dialog box comes up. First thing I'll demonstrate is this enable quick view button. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And what this will do is enable this slider bar that as I drag back and forth if you watch the assembly uh, it is making some faces appear and disappear. What this does is choose the faces that will actually appear in the assembly and the rest of the geometry will just be uh, kind of a picture. But uh, I don't like the slider bar results so I'll come and manually pick the faces that I want to keep. And as soon as I hit the green check mark and we see that uh, if I expand my configuration, I have a new icon here, speed pack icon. And if I hover over my graphics area, we see kind of a different display. What this is doing is underneath my cursor, it is getting rid of everything that is really not there. It is only showing the faces that I have chosen. And all of the other geometry is what they call a ghost image. But I can go ahead and double click my configuration, get back to my regular geometry so I haven't lost anything. Let me go to my speed pack here, and what I'm going to do is just save it, and then insert it into a new assembly. And since I am active in my speed pack configuration, it'll automatically come in speed pack, and my cursor shows that. Well, I've also taken the time to put my conveyor assemblies in speed pack also. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in here to where I want to place it. pick my conveyor assembly and we see that if I uh, zoom in here the only thing that we do see is the faces that I chose for their speed pack and it's a lot easier instead of trying to select through faces and pick the correct face that I want I can simply pick it because the speed pack ghost image goes away This does take a little bit of getting used to because if you have to drag the component you have to pick one of those real faces because the ghost image is not there. But once we get the hang of it, we don't have to play some fancy select other tricks and zooming and panning around to find the faces that I want to mate. I can simply just zoom in there and simply pick the faces. I'm going to jump ahead here a little bit. I've placed the components here in this assembly. Uh, I have the view that I want. Uh, everything's still in the speed pack ghost image. And I can take a screenshot even. And we see that the resulting screenshot looks like we took it from a normal assembly. And we're able to save ourselves some time and resources by using speed pack. 